explain spiritual awakening a little bit for me. Yeah. It's a very individual experience. Mm. Uh, from all of the clients that I've worked with mm. all over the world, there is a commonality in usually something is the catalyst that their world starts to dissolve or crumble. A big loss, a divorce, nothing's working out in their lives. All of a sudden, all the things that they used to work for them suddenly don't. Mm. There is a health crisis, an illness, somebody passes away. So something out here almost becomes cataclysmic enough for the focus to go in here. Right. So if someone's wanting to focus internally, um, and, and this is a little bit early in the episode to get here, but I'd like to give some tools along the way. What are some things that can get people started mm. to look inwards, to start to listen to what that truth for them might be? Well, I mean, the fastest vehicle from what I've discovered and tool that I believe that we've been given is, is just simply focusing on the breath and meditation and slowing down N you know slow down to speed up my husband and i always talk about this i got a, a signal from the universe if you will the other day i was backing up my car and i went crunch oh, into no. a uh, one of those cylinder poles in a parking lot mm. and i thought yeah you know and i have a thing against reverse anyway so here i am i reverse but i had a, a buddy of mine and he pointed out and he said you know that's the universe's way of telling you to slow down yeah slow down and i thought wow you know i had to crunch my poor car but yeah mm. <laughs> i mean the universe will find really unique ways to make us slow down to mm. make us turn inward but you don't have to get to those points you can be very deliberate 